Got too much stuff. Okay, that's better. You can't see all, all my mess. You can see this. I have my things ready to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, possible. Nothing. Happy Tuesday to you. Happy Tuesday to you. Happy Tuesday, dear tribe. Happy Tuesday to you. That's a new song, but not as fun as Manamana dee 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 dee. Manamana dee 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 dee. Manamana dee 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 dee. Woo! There I am. Susie's giving me the thumbs up. And usually what that means from Susie is please don't sing. You're live. We can hear you. <laughs> Stop singing. Stop singing. Uh. Oh, no, not next Tuesday, but the 5th, the 16th, and and the 23rd, possibly. Hey, everybody, it's Tiffany, and welcome. It's Tuesday Live, and we're so glad that you're here with us today. We've got a pretty casual day today. Not a lot going on. I haven't received a lot of questions this week in my inbox to chat about, but this is your opportunity to ask questions. So if you're new to Tuesday Live, Welcome. Thanks for finding me. Thanks for joining us. This is your opportunity to ask questions specifically about your products. If you've got a challenge with sort, storing, sorting, storing, and organize, organizing your craft supplies, I have a little problem this morning formulating formulating words. It's very odd. It's also <coughs> allergy season. So, and I also have this breathing issue that pops up every spring. Um, so, uh, you can ask questions about your stuff. So if you are following along on Facebook or YouTube, you can add a question into the chat feed and we will do our best to answer it for you here today. If you start your question with the word question in all caps or a bunch of question marks, it makes it that much easier for Susie or Katie to find it. So let's make sure Katie's here with us. I'm pretty sure she is. She's usually right on the ball. So um, also, if you're new... We do a drawing every week for a $25 gift certificate. So please uh, get your name in the chat feed, asking a question, telling us where you're from, what your favorite TT product is, how long you've been hanging around, totally Tiffany, easy to organize. And, um, and that will get your name into the drawing for this week's prize. So you can start asking questions at any time. I got a question for oh, you already. Susie's already got a question that for me. Crazy Crafts wants to know, do you know where I can find five by seven tab divider pockets or when they'll be back in stock. Betty's crazy crafts is asking about our five by seven tab divider pockets. And gosh, I would guess that they're available. Well, I don't know. I didn't know that they were out of stock, but I would look at uh, the stamps of life or Spellbinders is a great option now. So for those of you who love and follow and are part of the Spellbinders paper arts, um, that's their website, Spellbinders Paper Arts with an S dot com. And then you shop by brand, click on Totally Tiffany. They're alphabetical, so it's kind of towards the bottom of the page. I'm pretty sure they have the five by seven pockets as well. And um, they are a new retailer for us. So we'd love to support them a little bit more. So Spellbinders Paper Arts dot com. Looks like Susie's checking things out over there. So um, maybe she can find it. Uh, yeah, it looks like, uh, looks like uh, Stephanie has them. Stephanie has not the Stamps of Life, has the 5 by 7 tab divider pockets. Um, if you're looking on the Crafter's Companion website, that's the least likely place to find most things. They don't carry the full range of products. However, <coughs> um, I will tell you that today, I'm going to talk real quickly about the 6 drawer, the 8 drawer, and the 4 drawer storage and supply cases because they are on sale for 10 bucks today on the Crafter's Companion website. So what are those products if you don't know? Oh, I have another little trick to share with you too. So this is the six drawer storage and supply case. Okay. It was designed around washi tape, but it works brilliantly 
Sorry, I got a glare on there for you. It works brilliantly for embroidery floss, whether you have the skeins of embroidery floss and you're sorting by color or color family, or you have them wrapped around the little cards, the six drawer storage and supply case works great for that. So um, it works great for washi tape. It works great for all kinds of things, right? So there's kind of a variety of things in there. Everything from dauber type inks to modeling clay, uh, some uh, pearls, pens, small, I, this is a double layer of small punches. And then of course, I've got all my beading supplies in there as well. So it's going to work for a variety of different things. I do want to share one little trick with you. Some of you may already know this trick. Maybe many of you do. My first trick is that when you're using the storage and supply cases on your shelf, fold the flap under, and then you can pull the drawers out really nicely and easily slide them in and out. But if you're going to travel with them, you can close them up and take them with you. But here's my little trick. I had a girlfriend over the other day and she didn't know this trick. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll share it on Tuesday Live. If you have an old credit card, store it with your washi tape because it makes it really easy. I don't know if you can see this very well. Uh, makes it really easy can to... Go to the uh, yeah, we can go to the overhead. Let's see. If, does that work? How does that look, Sus? Yep. There I am. Is that it? You can yeah. see it? Right. Your credit card is going to be the perfect way to cut your washi tape perfectly straight and even. So if you are storing, if you have an old credit card, store it with your washi tape in your six level. Uh, we, did you go back to the other camera? Yeah. Perfect. Store it with your six level, with your six drawer storage and supply case in your washi tape. It'll make it easy to always have them, something good to cut. The other thing is if you always fold over the end of your washi tape, so it's not sticky, then you it'll be really easy to pull that washi tape off the roll the next time you need it. So two little tips there. Some of you know both of those things. I also, um, yeah, any kind of tape. I, I did a project the other day with somebody who we were using packing tape. And every time I pulled it off the thing, the little wheel had just like a hand thing, not the big handle one. I folded the end under and the lady's like, why are you doing that? And I was like, so it doesn't get stuck. And then we don't have to peel it off every time. So there's my tips and tricks for the day. Anyone who doesn't, hasn't thought about that or doesn't know. So six door storage and supply case is on sale today for $10. I think it's normally $19.99. So lots of great uses for the six drawer. Uh, the eight drawer storage and supply case, which is ideal for all of your mini inks is also on sale today. And I think this one is, they're all $10. I think this one's normally $17.99 or this one's, I don't know. They're in that $17.99, $19.99 price range, but they're 10 bucks today. So um, this one is awesome for all your mini inks. And then last but not least on sale today is the four drawer storage and supply case. And that is this one right here. Now the storage and supply cases are made out of a really nice heavy vinyl and the interior boxes are real sturdy. So even though I've got, this is um, obviously punches, so it's quite heavy. They're gonna stay in there um, with no problem, right? They're, the bag is gonna be able to handle it. And all of them work in that same way where you can pull the drawers out, bring the drawers to your workspace and then have those products that are in the drawers easily accessible on your workspace and then you just slide the drawers back in. So it helps keep your workspace organized at the same time as um, and without moving things, individual things around, just bring out that whole old box or drawer and work out of it. So my um, washi tape here is, I know this, you're thinking, how's that organized? It's the same four section system. This is all the holidays. So this would be the holiday section. But if I want Christmas or uh, fall or spring washi tape, I can just pull out that individual drawer and bring it to my workspace. So keep that in mind as you're organizing, use that same four section system that we use for everything else. All right, ready for more questions? Ready. All right, uh, question, ideas needed to store punches. I have a variety of visitors, creative memories, to all different sizes. I usually take only a couple to craft, so mainly to store them at home. I have a calyx. Help. Okay, so how are we going to store punches? I would go, I would use our um, punch packs, 
you could use this, you could use the storage and supply cases, right? The, the four drawer storage and supply case or the two drawer, I don't think the two drawers in stock. Um, but you could also use our store and go bags, which is what they were designed for. So let me get over here into my little secret stash of things down here and pull a couple of these out so you can see what they look like and how they work. Now, punches come in big, all different sizes, as you mentioned. They're heavy. Uh, oh. um, but the store and go bags, these were designed just for punches, right? So they have a reinforced band at the top, medium punches. You can see that all of these punches are numbered. I don't know if you can see it, but if you look closely, you can see in the screen that each of these is numbered. So I have cataloged my punches by number and then stored them in the bags so that when I need to get a punch, I know what number the bags are or what punches are, number punches are in each bag. So if you look down the side of this one through 32, all the small punches. Right, so this is the one inch store and go bag, one and a half inch, two inch. We have three sizes of them. And the beautiful thing about them then is that you can stand them up vertically on your shelf so you don't have to spread them out. They're not in a bin that you're digging through to look to find them. It keeps them all nice and neat and tidy, but it makes it really, really simple if you just create a little catalog you'll know which uh, bag your punches are in. So the store and go bags, boy, I don't, <coughs> that may be a challenge. I know they're in stock in the U.S. warehouse. They may have them at Spellbinders. Also, Stephanie probably also has them, the stampsoflife.com. It is a great way to store your punches. And then easy, if you're going to take them with you, you can do that as well. Or if you're just going to pull out a, a few, and then you know exactly where to put them back as well. So give them a number, create a catalog. The other thing that's helpful with the store and go bags is that if you, once it's all loaded up, your bag, and under there, once your bag is all loaded up, there we go. I'm going to show you it's underneath here. <clears throat> and we do this with stamps as well, right? So if you see, you can see in there, I have a full color. I just put this, I put the bag loaded on my copy machine, right? So I just, I've got all my things stuck together here. Whoa, oh, that's sticky. Uh, so I just put this in upside down, or what seems like upside down, when it was all loaded. And you can do this with stamps as well. So if you're looking for a way to store wooden stamps, this is a great way to do that also. Right? So I put up, I put this in the like this, and then I put it face down on the copy machine, made that photocopy, took the punches out, and then Put that at the bottom. So this is a way so that you know what actually belongs where. So especially if you have them in there all kind of tight and snug, that Not gives you. Do the Martha Stewart large punches fit in there? It depends which, some of them do and some of them don't. But Martha, the Martha Stewart punches are huge. So I've got those in a Leanne buddy bag. And I will show you that in a, a minute here. Oh, let's see. Um. I know it's for today. And I've got another question on topic about what about the punches with handles? What about punches with handles that you squeeze? Well, let's see what we've got here. Okay, so this is the Leanne Buddy Bag. She's a bigger, beefier gal, and she will hold these bigger types of punches. So this is the type that comes with the handle that you squeeze. The handle's in my other case. I took these to craft class. Um, but so you can put the punches in and the handle in all in one bag. So the Leanne Buddy Bag is going to handle bigger, heavier punches. So if you're looking for a way to store those, I would look at the Leanne Buddy Bag as a great choice for that. Now, 
Leanne has uh, ear flaps on the sides, right? But you don't necessarily need to use those ear flaps when you have big items that aren't going to slide out the end. So if you're using the Leanne, you can just close it up like that, fold the ear flaps in, and then you have less Velcro to work with when you're actually trying to take things out. But again, you can go vertical with them. You can stack them. You can throw that label at the end. So really big punches. Uh, and then small, medium, large are going to fit in a variety of the different bags. We haven't had punch questions in a long time. All right. All right ready for another one. Bring it on, Susie. Uh, Kathy Tyrus asked me if there is a video on how to make a catalog of my stamps, dies, embossing folders, etc. Yes, there are a couple of different. Um, if you go to the Totally Tiffany YouTube channel, and I think if you search Scrap Rack Lady, that's actually the name of the YouTube channel because um, it's been around for a long time. <laughs> Um, but if you go to the Totally Tiffany YouTube channel and then just search catalog, um, <coughs> there are several videos there. Um, you could also find it just by, there, there are blog posts about how to do it. So there's a couple of videos where I have literally gone individually, step by step, like hours of recording that are all condensed down. What are you laughing at, Susie? Uh -oh. Park just posted burrows down. Oh. My husband is out searching for burrows in Lake Alamo. So if you are a nature person, he has he got hacked for Instagram and Facebook. So if you used to follow him and he's you haven't seen him posting in a while, or there's the thing that you're following has these weird financial posts about him buying a Mercedes G wagon with all the money that he made on cyber. But I saw him on Facebook on Instagram this morning that he was out looking. For he, that's probably that his new one. You're on his new okay. one, yeah, probably. So. If you see weird posts on his Instagram or Facebook, you need to find him on the new page. And if you just search Park Kitchens Photographer, you will find him. But he does not, I guarantee you, he does not post any financial information. And my husband could have all and the money. Bitcoin. Yeah, all the money on the planet. And he would not buy a Mercedes G-Wagon or any, he would buy a truck less than a truck that's not as old as the one he has now, but it wouldn't even be a new truck. That is how he is. All right, Park, thanks for tuning in though and letting us know. But he's out looking for burrows today in Elmo Lake and burrows are adorable. So there's probably gonna be some cute pictures. Okay, uh, next question, Suze. Oh, I got, Katie has some stuff here too. Let me, let me put on my glasses and see what Katie's got going well, on. Question, have you and Stephanie thought about an eight and a half by 11 scrap master? Uh, we have thought about an eight and a half by 11 scrap master and it is actually on its way. <laughs> what? So Susie, if you want to go to the end of my tall table there, there's a pile. I'm going to show you. I'm going to, yep. That pile. I don't need the, whatever's on the top. There's a piece of paper on the top. I probably don't need that either, but so I don't know if I'm supposed to do this. I don't know how far out this is. I don't know. I don't know any of those things. But since you asked, la, 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 oh, look at that. So same as the other Scrap Masters. Now the Scrap Master is available at the Stamps of Life in the 6x6, which we talked about last week. So there it is, the 6x6 Scrap Master. Um, and this is the A48 and a half by 11 Scrap Master. It's got two pockets, a gusseted pockets on the inside. Same thing. It's got the space in the middle, so you can use it as a file folder and then pockets on the front and the back. So really handy, right, for all the things that you want to organize. So this is all a whole um, Christmas card project. And then, of course, because it does have those gusseted pockets, so you're seeing through the back into the front, into the middle here, um, it does hold bigger, bulkier things as well. So stamps, washi tape, that kind of thing. So really great for a project planner piece. So yeah um i don't know i'm gonna ask kimberly right now actually i will text her and see if she's how busy she is let me put on my glasses uh and kimberly uh, oh no my i had a computer uh, uh, update last night and now i don't i don't know what's going on here 
Okay. No. No, I don't want that. Let's go back. I don't have my option to voice. When will the new 8.5 by 11, oh, by 12 by 11, Scrap Master be available? So let's see if she gets back to me. But that's crazy. Ah, you know when your phone updates overnight and then they change things, and then you gotta learn new stuff. So let's see what what Kimberly's got going on, and she, we'll see if she gets right back to me about that. I'll try and keep my eye on this. You might have to remind me, Susie. Uh, what is the best way to store my Sizzlets alphabets? I have ten sets. Um, Gail, if you can give me the size of those Sizzlets. I think they are the little thin flat plates, right? Like um, they're, um, yeah, they're the skinny flat ones. I, have, I, I used to have some of those. If you can give me the dimensions on them, I will give you an answer on that. I, it would be great if they fit somehow in the six drawer storage and supply case since it's on sale. So give me the dimensions and I'll do my best for that. Okay, I have another person that says, uh, I bought the Kirsten bag a while ago and have my dye stored in it recently the plastic has come away from the seam can i stitch it back together before it gets worse uh this so question is uh i have a kirsten bag and the plastic has come away from the seam and i've not heard of that before but it sounds to me like a manufacturing defect so um if you sew yes you can stitch it back together, but you could also just reach out to customer service and ask for a replacement and let them know, hey, my Kirsten bag is torn at the seam and I'm sure that they will send you a replacement on that. It might be faster and easier if you sew to do it yourself. There's also some other kinds of amazing sort of adhesives out there that would most likely work to hold it together, but I'd reach out to customer service and say, hey, my bag has a defect, can I get a new one? What would you store the Crafter's Companion MIDI in? Your largest toolbox is too small. The Crafter's Companion MIDI. So I have mine in the Big Bertha. Um, yep. The Big Bertha Slide Stash and Store. So this is the number six Slide Stash and Store. Um, so I store it on my shelf with that way. Th these have little sticky feet on the bottom. So if you put something on the bottom like your instruction book, which is what I have down there, then the sticky feet won't stick to the plastic bottom of your um slide stash and store so this is the number six slide stash and store and it has space in it for the midi as well as the um folders that go with it and then i just keep it on my shelf if you want to take your midi somewhere this will fit in your lowest tote right your lowest or your cindy tote you can just drop it in there and that keeps everything organized and together when you go somewhere and then pull it out and pop it back on your shelf when you get home but it does fit really nicely in the number six slide stash and store. Are you ready for another one? I am ready. On the drawer organizers that you just showed a while ago for $10 on Crafters Companion, what is the outside dimension of those? The outside dimension, I believe it's nine by 12 by two, but I'm gonna confirm that right now. And I'm even gonna put on my glasses. So that I'm, so when I say outside dimension, that's going to be this little black edge sticks off, right? So there's a little bit of flexibility there. Like if you're going to put it in a bag or tote or something, or even on a shelf, this part is flexible, but the trim off the edge makes these, oh, actually like 12 and a half. If you squish it in, it'd be 12, but like 12 and a half by eight and a half by dose i believe yeah probably two and a half with the black trim so 12 and a half eight and a half 
two and a half, and they're all the same. Um, all there's there's there are two sizes. There's a 12 by 12, which is actually 13 by 13, uh, storage and supply case. These that I that are on sale today are 12, 12 and a half by eight and a half by two and a half. There's a two drawer, a four drawer, and a six drawer. And then of course this guy is the same eight and a half by 12 and a half, but he's only an inch deep, right? So the one with the, um, the eight drawer is narrower. Okay. Question, the lid on Cindy tote, when it unzipped and open, can it sit on the back or does it have to be tucked inside? The lid on the Cindy tote. Um, if you flipped, <coughs> you could flip it outside, I guess, of the back of the tote, but um, then you wouldn't be able to get to the handle. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with a Cindy, do I have a Cindy right here? Oh, Cindy, where are you? Oh, I got hooked up, I got hung up on my cord. Let's see, let me grab a Cindy right here. All right, come on. Cindy, Cindy, da, da. So the Cindy tote and the lowest tote are the same dimensions, but Cindy has uh, outside pockets, right, on both ends, one clear pocket and one fabric pocket, and then it has one interior pocket. But the biggest difference on Cindy is that she has this lid that zips across the top, right? So you can close it up. When the lid is unzipped, this is a pocket that drops into the bag. So if you're using it unzipped, you've got this interior pocket. So if you wanted to flip this pocket outside the bag, you certainly could, but then you couldn't close the handle. But while you're using it, you could totally do that. You couldn't really use the pocket either. But if you're just saying, how is it going to okay to access that way? hundred percent. Yeah. Just flip it outside and use it that way. Easy peasy. If you don't have a Cindy tote or a Lois tote, you need one. I'm pretty sure Spellbinders has the lowest tote. I think Stephanie, the Stamps of Life, has the lowest tote. Um, this is the most handy tote bag. What do I have folded up in there? This is the most handy tote bag ever, and it folds pretty darn flat, and you can stuff it in the back seat pocket of your car so that you can use it for groceries or whatever. It's a great tote, either Cindy or Lois. Cindy has the lid. Lois does not. Cindy has the pockets. Lois does not. Lois was first. Then we... Okay. Beefed up, Cindy. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Do you remember where you found the pegs for your extra shelves behind you? IKEA doesn't carry extra shelves or pegs. Um, you can probably get the, sh the pegs anywhere. I mean, I would even guess that if you looked on Amazon, you could find them. But uh, you might just be asking IKEA the wrong question. Um, if you, because I got mine from IKEA, and I think. <laughs> I think I had to go into replacement parts is where I found them. They're not, they were, they, they were difficult to find. It wasn't like they were readily available or that they were on the shelf at Ikea. I think I had to go into the Ikea, like uh, customer service area and tell them I needed replacement parts. And they sold me a little baggie of the things, but they are a common thing. They're not unique to Ikea. So you could also probably find them on Amazon or if you were in the, uh, what do they call it? Uh, fasteners department of a store, like a good Ace Hardware store that had lots and lots of, um, you know, they have those aisles of the bins with little drawers. Um, they, they probably have them there as well. They're, they're a common little little thing so it's they're not unique to ikea but i i do remember something about when i got them from ikea they they weren't available in the store i had to go into the customer service desk at the store and ask for them but i think possibly even on their um website you could you could find replacement you could you're called replacement parts but they're not uh, they're in my kitchen too the same ones that are in my kitchen cabinet so I'm going to guess Home Depot cabinet department even would have them as well. All right. Which bag would you suggest for a selfie printer? S-E-L-P-H-Y. 
I'm not sure the size of the selfie printer, but I think it fits in the Leanne bag. I don't actually have one, um, but I'm pretty sure that this has come up before and Leanne is the bag that people are using for that. Now, that may have also been pre-toolbox. So the selfie printer may fit in the nine by six toolbox as well. So if you give us the dimensions, we can kind of measure that out for you. Or if someone else out there has one um, and, and they're storing it in a, in a buddy bag or a toolbox, that might be a great option. Let me take a quick look here and see what, um, what Katie has going on here. Oh my goodness. Did I, Ooh, I missed a lot of things over here from Katie. Okay. Uh, punches. We got that. Is there a video on how to make the up? Sizzlets. Um, storage and supply cases. Love the eight by five would, uh, would be good for my remote days at work when I could take things in and out of the office. We'll definitely buy Barbara Miller. Yeah. The eight by five scrap master. That's going to be a great, a great option. Can we have a bag or fab file for six by eight paper pads? I'm using the eight by eights, but there's so much wasted space in each one. Uh, the, you know, the six by eight paper pads, I bet would be a good fit in the nine by six anything. So um, that would be the nine by six toolbox or the Kirsten buddy bag would probably, either one of those things would probably work really well. It is a little bit frustrating that size, that dimension. And you're right, eight by eight is going to give you a lot of wasted space. I would look at the nine by six um, and the um, slimline storage box is probably going to be perfect also for a nine by six paper pad. So look at the slimline storage box or the nine by six toolbox, uh, or the Kirsten buddy bag. I any one of those would probably be a great solution. Uh, question. Do you have any updates on new products, smaller SSS, fat quarter containers, three door and storage and supply case? Hi, Deborah. No, I do not. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of crazy things going on over at Crafters Companion and I don't have any, like getting updates on products is not an easy thing to do right now. Um, yeah, sorry. I know the fat quarter, uh, storage boxes are in stock at Crafters Companion in the UK. I have not seen them pop up on the website. Go ahead. Uh, what do you recommend to store long bling? What do I recommend to store long bling? And when you say long bling, are you talking about like 12 inch long strips of bling? Um, if that is the case and you are using a scrap rack or you're using a binder system, then they fit perfectly in the vertical four page for storage. Um, if you are using, if you are not using that, I would look at, um, you could either use like the 12 drawer storage and supply case that, the, that has six drawers. It has long, narrow drawers in it. You could also use the six by 12 pockets that go with the Kiwi Lane storage system. Th that would probably work well. And then there's a, there's a yes, storage. Or just bling in general. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I have all my bling in my scrap rack, right? The scrap rack is the easiest way to store all of those things. It's portable. It's accessible. You can open it up on your desktop. You can put it in the closet. Uh, all of those kind of things. The storage binders work great. Um, it's a little hard to get at the moment because even though we have them in stock, they're hard to find somewhere where you can buy them. Um, but so the binders work great with the scrap rack storage and supply uh, with the scrap rack pages. You can do a whole binder full of bling. It makes it really easy. If you want to keep all your bling together, you know me, my bling is organized in my color, uh, my color group. So if, if you're looking, the other thing that would probably work well for bling because it comes in small packages would be the four level, if you ha have somewhere you can set it up or put it out, the four level, uh, decimate four level stadium arranger would probably work. You could probably stagger up and create a file. But I also think if you look, if you're looking for more of a box situation, I would look at the uh, Kiwi Lane storage box with the pockets because those pockets are, they're big enough to hold thickers. 
So they're going to be uh, just under 13 inches long. It's got a little bit of room in there, for, especially for something that's 12 inches long. And then there are different sizes of pockets as well um, that you could store your smaller bling in the smaller pockets. So you can put the long pockets, the square pockets, and then the smaller pockets all in one box and organize it by color. And you can use it, uh, shut your flap tab to label each of those pockets. And then I think I probably have something similar over here. Let me look really quickly and then I, and I might be able to give you a better idea of what I'm talking about. So here are the pockets at least so you can see what they look like. So this is the storage and supply kit and this is the Kiwi Lane storage box and the pocket dimensions that are that you can get with it are so this is a six by six pocket. This is a 12 by six pocket. So your long bling is gonna go in there. Um, this is also would work for the long bling. So um, these are the split this pocket split, larger pocket on the bottom, smaller pocket on the top. And then you've got the triple pocket here. So your smaller bling is gonna fit in there, right? This one's double. So also would work for smaller bling. They're clear so you can put things back to back and be able to see things. So you've got a taller pocket in the back, shorter pocket in the front. And then, so there's, there's kind of an idea of what, how that might, this is the 12 by six. No, no, no small pockets, but, and then it all stores in this handy box. So a little handle on the top. So this is the Kiwi Lane um, template organizer. I'm pretty sure it's available at the Stamps of Life. It's probably also available at scrapbook.com, which I haven't even talked about today, but they have all of the TT stuff that's available and in stock. So look for the Kiwi Lane template storage and supply system, and you're gonna find the box in all those pockets as well. Uh, what labels did you use on the buddy bag behind you? What labels did I use on the buddy bags behind me? Uh, these, they're, I didn't use any, I mean, there's just a little label pocket. So I just, there's this piece of white cardstock that comes in there. Um, and th these, maybe this is what you're talking about because these are obvious. So this is the toolbox and it has a big label pocket and label card that comes with it. So for those of us who are older and have to wear glasses, I tried to make the, I'm trying to make all the label pockets even bigger. So we've even in pre included increase the size of them in the paper takers because then when you can write big words, then you don't need your glasses to find things. So this is the nine by six toolbox, but all the toolboxes have a big label pocket at the end. All right. I'm going to see if Kimberly has replied to us here about the, um, let's see. Uh, she's following up, but they have been ordered. So could be sooner than later. They were ordered. It looks like in maybe January and then there's Chinese new year. So I, I would say in the next four to six weeks, we're going to see those. And I'll let you know who's releasing them. As a matter of fact, let's ask Kimberly. Um, who will have them first? We'll see what she says. Who's going to get them first? All right. Question. When is that 12 inch hang and hold coming? Never. Huh? Sorry. The hang and hold probably is done. Uh, that's one product that I think will probably not uh, ever be available. Sorry. Okay. Any thoughts on creating a tote with wheels to be able to travel with? A tote with wheels to be able to travel with. Uh, Probably not for a while. Um, the wheelie totes are great uh, and they're very, and they're awesome for going to crops and stuff, but they're, yeah, they're just, they're really big to import. So the bigger stores, yeah, they're hard to ship. So the bigger stores like Joann's, uh, Michael's, they have a tendency to have them. They make their own. Uh, or they work with huge manufacturers on them. So it's a little bit different. Uh, we would do it for something like HSM, but there's nothing on the 
I do have some good ideas for one, but there's nothing really on the drawing board just yet. Help. I moved all my cling stamps to plastic sheets that are now warping. The stamps now pop off. Any suggestions on how to store and organize a lot of loose cling stamps? I need help desperately. Uh, cling stamps, just put them in the pocket. In the the mo our most popular product is the five by seven tab divider pocket. It came up earlier. It's available at the Stamps of Life. And Stamps of Life is out. I'm sorry. Oh, st oh. there. Stamps of but Life is out. It is available at Spellbinders. Spellbinders, paperarts.com. Go to shop totally shop by brand, totally Tiffany. They have the five by seven pockets. That is the reason that that product has been so successful is cling stamps. So you can easily put them into the pockets. Now that pocket also is available in a uh, nine by six size and that fits in the Kirsten buddy bag or in the nine by six. Um, no, sorry. Is it nine by six, eight by five, the eight by five pocket fits in the Kirsten buddy bag. <laughs> There's a nine by six that is for slimline. So any one of whatever size your stamps are or how you want to put them together, but the most popular hands down, we sell thousands of them every year is the five by seven pocket. And then you either use that with the Karen buddy bag, or you can use it with the five by seven fab file to store your stamps. It's the best way to do it. It condenses everything down nice and neat and easy. Now, even my, well, these are die. This has dies and stamps in it. If you have space for open shelf on an open shelf or somewhere where you can use the um, desk made die stamp and supply organizer, you can use any or all of the, the tab divider pockets in that. So when you look at mine, I've got two or three different sizes of tab divider pockets in mine. This one has dies and stamps in it together. So if you've got dies and stamps that go together, you can add that magnet and keep them together. But I would say, and I'm sure there's others who might chime in here on this thing, but the, um, nope, I put them in the wrong place. See, that's how much you don't have your glasses on. Um, the five by seven tab divider pockets accommodate most stamp sizes, really easy to store in either the five by seven fab file or the five by seven or the uh, Karen buddy bag. So two really get great solutions for that. And fast and easy if you already have them on sheets. Question, what can I store my new Gina K fuse machine in? It's 13 inches wide by five and a half deep and three and a quarter tall. Um, uh, the Gina K fuse machine, 13 by five and a half by three. Probably if you're going to put it on the shelf, um, I would, I bet the six... What's, what's in here? Let's see what the width is on here. We may, um, yeah. So you've got four and a half inches here, four and a quarter inches. Um, you've got five inches of height. You've got 13 and a quarter inches of length. Hey, my thing is stuck. Hey, that wasn't good. Yeah, you've got 13 and a half inches of length. So if you wanted to put it into something like this, and then you would have it on the shelf, pull it out with all the pieces. I'm not familiar with it. I'm wondering if it's, it's a fuse machine. I wonder if that's a, is that a foil machine? I don't know. I don't know exactly what it is. I'm going to have to look it up. I wrote it down while you were saying that. Um, so you could keep it in here, and then you could keep uh, the foils or the other parts that go with it in this, again, it's going to drop into a tote, your lowest tote or your Cindy tote if you want to do it that way. But easy to store something like, um, you know, one of the bags next to it if it's a foil machine or if it has uh, plates or I'm going to have to look it up. I'm not 100% sure what it is. Um, and then easy to store on your shelf. So that would probably be the best solution for putting all that. The nice thing about the slide stash and store is if you're working with something so like this, right? So I've got the machine and then all of the accessories that go with the machine are together in one place. So if I'm going to use it, I can take everything out, put everything back, slide it on the shelf and it's vertical. 
which is great because I'm not using up all of this shelf space for that machine. Since I've got it on its edge, I've got it in the thinner location. Now I can put it on the shelf and I've got everything with it. So I'm not like, here's this and everything stacked on top of it, or things do get stacked on top of it and you can't find it. It doesn't sit flat. It's not level on the top. All those things are all of those issues get addressed when you put it into the slide stash and store. So you can see all the different machines, punch plates, all that stuff that I've got. You could never just set that stuff on a shelf in that small of space because none of it's flat, right? It would just be a pile of messiness. So the slide stash and store option is a great solution for all over your craft room, all over your house. I have them in the bathroom, I'm in the kitchen, I have them under the sinks, they're everywhere. So that, that would be my suggestion. Let me take a quick peek here what Katie's got. Do you know when you're going to be getting more scrap rack extenders? I really would like a couple. We have them. Uh, I, they should be at scrapbook.com. I will follow up with Kimberly. They are in our warehouse. Scrap rack at scrapbook.com. I think scrapbook.com is the only place you're going to be able to get it, though. It's heavy. Uh, they tend to be the resource for big, bulky, heavier items to ship. So I would definitely look at scrapbook.com for scrap rack bases and expansion bases. Okay, I've got a question on what okay. is the name of the bag that holds rulers? Someone said it would hold the new WRM border punch. Oh, uh, the Brandy. The Brandy Buddy bag holds rulers. Brandy, she's a fine girl. She's this tall, skinny girl. Look what I've got in there. Templates, rulers of all shapes and sizes, glue sticks. So, yes, Brandy would be your best bet. I don't know what the uh, We Are Memory Keepers, the new thing is. Maybe I need to talk to Chastity and get some scoop from her on that. But uh, it's if Brand <coughs> Brandy's probably your girl. She's 13 inches long to it, <coughs> probably three inches wide and an inch and a half deep. Do you also have spinders? We also have spinders in stock. So again, scrapbook.com is going to be the go-to for spinders. And I will follow up with Kimberly. A matter of fact, I'm going to ask her. So if you've looked at... Um, scrapbook.com scrapbook.com have scrap rack oh, I have a little scrap scrap rack I don't know how to spell bases and expansions. What about spinders? Yeah, I'm having a lot of spelling trouble. She won't know. Uh, I'll remind everybody we're getting close to Oh. Susie says, we're getting close to 10 o'clock. So if you haven't entered your name or information or asked a question or done something, you can't win. So ask a question, tell us where you're from, give us some, say hi, whatever it is, get your name in that feed or you won't be able to win. Okay, so Gail has said, the Sizzlet alphabet dies measure two and three eighths by two and five eighths by an eight. The best storage two and three eighths that's by two and five eighths that's not going to fit hmm so maybe two and three eighths by two and five eighths so two and three that's two and a quarter so you could probably get them into i'm just going to see if i have something sticking up here that would work So this is the four drawer storage and supply case. These are two inches. Yeah, so if you went to two and a quarter. So you could probably get them into the storage and supply case. This drawer is almost six inches wide. 
So you could probably get them like two rows of them into any of the storage. And, well, this is the four drawers and this on sale. So that'll be the one I guess I would go to. Um, you could probably get them two rows of them. They're going to be a little higher than the tray, but uh, I'm trying to see what I have here that also sticks up higher than the tray. You've got some, because it's vinyl, you've got some, I don't know if you can see that, you've got some play in the tray. So even getting them taller. Now you could also put them in this one, the sixth drawer, and but I think you're going to lose some space. I think this is going to be the most efficient use of the space because you can put them side by side, long ways, a two and three eighths would be up down. So it's be a little bit above this, which would also be really nice because when you pulled them out, you could file through them. They'd be sticking up above the top of the tray. So I would look at the four drawer storage and supply case for those. It's easy to label. It's got the label pocket on the end um, and you could slide them in and out as needed. And I bet you could get, I don't know how, they're an eighth of an inch deep. So that means four, an eighth of an inch deep. So you could probably get all of them in one bag, I'm going to guess. Yeah, you get eight. There's So the whole alphabet is, is there an eighth of an inch deep is a couple inches. One, two. I, I bet you could get at least eight sets in one bag. I think you said, yeah, ten. So I, I would look at the four drawer. Um, they're on special right now. It's a great time to check it out, I guess. You're going to save, I, they're normally, I think, $17.99 or $18.99, and they're on special for $10. Bucks, so it's almost half price. So it's a good time. And even if they don't work great for that, they're addicting and they work for everything else. Yeah. All right. Yeah. There's plenty of things. All right. Um, got someone asking if you've ever thought to make a dust cover for the slide stash in store. A uh, dust cover for the slide stash in store? No. I haven't, but somebody else brought that up, and I'm going to show you what they did. They took, let me empty one out here. There's not a lot of stuff in it. They did this. So I'm not sure, like, how, uh, like, you could maybe make a hinge on the back, like Pac Man. But, um, yeah, that is what they did. So for me, um, the accessibility is the important part. So, but yeah, you, I mean, that would be maybe flipping another one over the top. That's the same dimension, right? The same size. So it fit together because the widths are different on that. But no, there is, and there is nothing on the drawing board for that kind of thing either. I think the biggest problem with it is that, as you can see, all the different heights and levels of things sticking out. So for tall things and short things, the cover would need to be different sizes. So that might be another problem. But you could also easily, especially, you could also easily just do your own, similar to how the scrap rack dust cover works, or just a piece of fabric that pulls over the top. Uh, so if I had it in the back of, uh, you know, on the back of the shelf, I could just pull it over the top and drop it down to cover those up if I needed to do that. All right. Ben Hughes wants to know, will the embossing station be making a comeback? Ooh, uh, I didn't know it was gone. Um, I know embossing station was carried at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if they still carry it. If they don't have it at scrapbook.com. Um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't know about that. It's still in our catalog, so. All right, uh, Debbie's Crazy Craft. What would you recommend for storing packages of embellishments for Boeing? Can you tell I'm doing a massive reorganization? <laughs> Packets of embellishments or bling. Is that maybe what it's supposed to be? Maybe bling is a typo. Probably not Boeing. I don't know Boeing. Probably, probably supposed you to be. Yeah, sometimes that makes sense to me. <laughs> <but it really laughs> That's makes sense right. I know. You. Probably supposed to be bling. Um, I, you know, I. Again, going back to the tab divider pockets, they work brilliantly for so many different things. So if you're not using a scrap rack, tab divider pockets are a great option. Um, if you have open space on your um, 
shelving or on your countertop where you can use the die stamp and supply organizers and then mix and match in the different pocket sizes. Let me pull this one off here. Um, so you can see ah, in this one, got my pen under there. I've got the four by six pockets, the five by seven pockets. These are the long pot, the nine by six pockets. You can see all the different pocket sizes here and how accessible they are. You got that label tab. So it might be, <laughs> bounced on my pen. This could be a good option with the variety of pocket sizes and then labeling those pocket sizes as well for what's inside them. So depending on the different sizes and shapes, because even your 12 by 12 pockets can go in the back. The pockets that are in this, the, um, what are they again? Help me now. Kiwi Lane uh, pockets can fit in here. So it's a great way to put things out and visible if you have that option by just mixing and matching the pockets. Now you could do the same thing, you know, same kind of thing in the Kiwi Lane box. It wouldn't matter if it was a sticker or a die cut or in some sort of ephemera, you could do that same thing. So if you're not using a scrap rack, um, then I would look at the tab divider pockets in the different sizes and shapes, and then which container and where you can put that container, right? So where do you have space for that? It may work out best that you do everything in these and just label the end with, you know, whatever it's in there, um, or have it open on your desk, which is you know, for me, I'm always looking at the least a number of steps to get to something because we tend to use the things that are easiest to get to and the things that are difficult to get to, we, out of sight, out of mind, we forget about them or they don't get used, right? So the stuff with easy access is what gets used best. All right, let's see. Note from Katie, there is one embossing station available on scrapbook.com. So if you are looking for an embossing station, scrapbook.com has one available and in stock. I, I think we have those in the warehouse. I don't, I don't think they're going anywhere. I think, I mean, we may just be slightly out of stock on them or something or, or we getting out of stock on them or in the, they're in the reorder process, but. Okay. Yeah. Aubrey wants to know any ideas why the five by seven fab files aren't on the Crafted Companion website? Are they no longer carrying them? Yeah. Crafters Companion is going to be the least well stocked uh, of TT product. I know that seems weird. Scrapbook.com, um, Spellbinders, PaperArts.com, <coughs> the Stamps of Life. Those are probably your top three for the most TT options. With Scrapbook.com trying their best to carry every SKU that we make all the time. Spellbinders. And then, uh, and Stephanie, Stephanie does carry the stamps of life, does carry the five by seven pockets and fab files. So I would look there for those. And, and if you're overseas, um, if you're in the UK, I apologize. Yeah, they just, it's craft, Crafters Companion just doesn't carry a lot of the TT stuff. All right, my friends, let's see. I got another pop-up here from Kimberly. Um, she says that uh, expansion base and scrap rack should be available at scrapbook.com right now. And if they're not, she will check into it. Um, so, all right. I think, are we ready for a winner? I think we are. Do we have any more questions, Susie? Um, I think, um, question, where do you get extra shelves for the, your bookcase? Oh, Ikea, extra shelves for my Ikea, uh, Bookcases, I got them at Ikea. It's the Fajalkinge, F-J-A-L-K-I-N-G-E. Weird spelling, not the right pronunciation, uh, but that's the easiest way for me to say it. Fajalkinge, K-I-N-G-E. Um, I bought them there. If they don't have them, I, I know they still carry the shelf. Like, I, I don't know that. A month ago, they still had this because I got asked about it a couple of weeks ago and I looked it back up and they still had it. So you should be able to buy additional shelves at Ikea for it in whatever size they're currently carrying. Um, otherwise you could cut wooden shelves to that same dimension, I would imagine. I hope, I don't know, but I love them. I can't, yeah, and, and I think Ikea is still making them. They're the easiest shelves I've ever had to work with. And they've been, like I said, all over the place for me. All right, my friends, let's wrap it up with a prize here. Uh, this week's winner, Tracy Knowles. Tracy, you have won a $25 
gift certificate to buy Totally Tiffany or actually anything on the Crafters Companion website. If you reach out to Craft first, if you're not a Club Inspire member, please join Club Inspire on the Crafters Companion website. And then reach out to prizes, prizes with an S at crafterscompanion.com. Send them an email. Tell them you are this week's winner of the $25 gift certificate. And they will get you all hooked up with a little $25 shopping spree that you can spend at crafterscompanion.com. All right, my friends, I will see all of you next week. There are some changes coming up in April, though. There's a possibility that I will be at HSN the week of the 15th. So there won't be uh, Tuesday live the week of the 15th. Susie is going off on another little trip with some friends, to California, um, to check on the wine growing season over there and make sure everything's coming along just fine. Um, <laughs> somebody has got to do it and that will be the 23rd. So possibly no Tuesday live on the 16th and possibly, well, definitely probably not on the 23rd. Uh, Katie, Katie, we're letting you know, sister. Um, so stay tuned. Keep your eye on social media. Katie will keep us all in the loop about what's going on. Thanks so much for joining us today. Have a wonderful rest of your week. And I will see you next Tuesday right here with the Tuesday Tribe on Totally Tiffany Live.